Hey guys, it's Anna from Bright Lane Gardens. We are currently filming video number seven in our hydroponic series. And today we're going to cover the white residue or buildup that you can sometimes notice on your expanded clay pebbles, hydroton or LECA, whatever you call it. This is a very natural phenomenon, but it is one that does need to be addressed or at least observed when you notice it. So starting with the basics, there is a normal buildup of salts that result from the nutrient solution that will typically appear on your hydroton or clay pebbles within a couple days of starting your hydroponic setup. This does not mean that anytime you see a white residue, this is exactly what it is, because of course we need to be worried about mold and mildew, um, especially when we're dealing with a grow setup that contains such a high moisture content like hydroponics does. So the first step is definitely going to be to correctly determine if your white residue buildup is indeed this buildup of salts. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to identify if the buildup is exclusively on your hydroton or clay pebbles, or if it has spread anywhere else in your setup. That means on the roots of the plant, on the plant itself, or on the lid of your container, anything in that surrounding area. So if you do notice that this white residue spreads beyond the clay pebbles in any direction, then you might be looking at a mold issue and then we're talking about a completely different cleanup experience. So this video specifically is meant to take care of the salts or the salt residue buildup on your hydroton or clay pebbles. So if your white residue is only on your clay pebbles, then the next thing that you want to look for is can it easily be brushed off of the clay pebble? And typically when it is this salt-like buildup, you'll actually see that there's little crystals that are stuck to the edge of your clay pebble. It could also take on a powdered sugar like appearance where it is just kind of sprinkled over the top of the, the clay pebble. But either way, you should be able to at least brush some of that off. It should be relatively easy for you to flake off with your finger. Now this salt buildup is a result of your nutrient solution. And there really isn't a good way to prevent this. So our approach to this is going to be on more of a cleanup front. Now what happens is there are salts and minerals that are a part of your dissolved nutrient solution and your hydrogen clay pebbles will absorb that water and as that water evaporates off the top of the clay pebbles the salts are too heavy to evaporate so those are left on the surface of the stone this is really common we see it everywhere with stonework and bricks so that's the same natural process that's happening in your hydroponic setup a little bit of this buildup is not harmful at all. So if you see it, it's not something that needs to be addressed like the very next day. More so, it's something that you want to continue to observe. And if you notice that it's covering a majority of your hydroton clay pebbles, or if the buildup is getting pretty thick and kind of crumbling back into your nutrient solution, that's when we want to go ahead and take a step to reduce the amount of that buildup. Now the risk that we run with allowing that substance to go ahead and break off back into your nutrient solution is too much salt can actually increase the pH of your solution. And when your pH increases, that decreases your plant's ability to absorb the nutrients in the solution. So essentially you'll notice a stunted plant growth if you allow the dissolved salts in your solution to become too high. So that's what we wanna prevent when I say let's recognize and acknowledge how severe the problem is and then take that step to go ahead and clean it. If you do notice that this white residue or these salts are coating the majority of that surface layer of your hydrogen pebbles, now we wanna go ahead and take the next step, which is to clean it out. You'll notice that this layer of residue buildup is likely only going to be on your very top layer of stone. So we shouldn't be looking at a total empty of your hydrogen pebbles. We just wanna empty out that top layer there. On that note, I will say with my DWC system, I change out the water once a week. So when I change out the water, since I'm already putting the plant under a little bit of stress during that time, that would be the best time for you to go ahead and start to clean that surface layer of your hydroton pebbles. Once you've identified that it is indeed this mineral salt buildup that is on your hydroton clay pebbles, then you'll go ahead and scoop off that top layer of pebbles or any pebbles that you see that are affected with that white residue. Our next step is going to be to 
to take those stones and give them a very thorough rinsing. And in order to do that, I recommend using a strainer or a sieve, something that's going to really allow that water and any residue on it to filter right through these stones. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a really thorough rinsing in as hot of water as I can stand. The water running over your stone should run completely clear by the time you're done rinsing, and that means that you'll be getting off any algae residue, any of that salt buildup, um, any dirt that might have accumulated on those pebbles. So when you rinse, you really want to make sure that you're giving them a very thorough rinsing. Our next step is going to be to use a citric acid solution to help dissolve some of that mineral and salt buildup. Citric acid can actually be found at any grocery store in the baking aisle. This is really commonly used for um, preserving or canning food. This is also the same substance that's on like a sour gummy bear to make it taste sour. So this is a very food safe product to use. You don't have to worry about any chemical leaching into the rest of your hydroponic setup or anything like that. You can really trust in the citric acid. So my first step is going to be to put together my citric acid solution. And typically what I wanna do is one tablespoon per cup of hot water. I'm going to do a four cup mixture in this pitcher here. Keep in mind whatever container that you're using to do this soak in, the clay pebbles are going to displace a lot of mass. So uh, when you're filling up your container, make sure it's only about halfway filled with water. Otherwise you will overflow. Now that I have my pitcher filled with hot tap water, I am going to go ahead and add in my citric acid. And keep in mind that is about one tablespoon per cup of water. I know this is an unusual measuring cup, but this is what we happen to use out in the grow room. Go ahead and dump that into your hot water. Give it a good mix. And from there, you'll go ahead and dump in your clay pebbles. I like to let my clay pebbles soak in this mixture at least overnight, preferably 24 to 48 hours. Once that soak is complete, you'll go ahead and dump them back into your strainer and thoroughly rinse them twice before you put them back into your hydroponic setup. Soaking your clay pebbles in this type of citric acid solution can help prevent them from accumulating that buildup in the future, but it will not prevent it forever. So plan on incorporating this simple cleaning process into a regular part of your overall routine. Typically once every four to eight weeks should be enough to keep that residue buildup at bay. If you do notice that you're having extensive residue buildup on a consistent basis, you'll wanna go back and check out your nutrient solution. Try switching up with a different brand, a different type of hydroponic solution, or dilute your solution down a little bit to prevent that buildup from happening so consistently. Using simple maintenance techniques like the one I showed you today can really help keep your hydroponic setup clean and functioning as it should be. When you incorporate it into a part of your overall maintenance routine, it can really make this seem like it's not as big of a deal when you start to notice some of those signs and symptoms. And you can think, oh, I'm going to go ahead and change off the water next week anyway, so I can do a citric acid soak on my hydroton pebbles when I do that. That's all I have for you today. This was video number seven in our hydroponic series, and my next video is going to be tackling algae blooms or algae coating any part of your hydroponic system. So if that's something that you're struggling with, definitely subscribe and alert to our channel, and then you'll know when the algae video comes out. If you like learning about hydroponic or indoor gardening, then subscribe to our channel. We produce a new video every week that goes along with the seasons that we have here in Michigan. Because we're entering into the winter season now, we have an entire hydroponic series ahead of us where I walk through step by step what my process looks like and how I maintain and clean my system. If you have any questions or comments on today's video, mineral buildup, or nutrient solutions in general, please leave them in the comments section below. We are a small plant nursery located in Northern Michigan, and anytime someone watches our videos, subscribes to our channels, or interacts with us on social media, it greatly benefits our small business. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today, and I sure hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye.